I had climbed the, the auto road here maybe eight or nine years ago. Um, but me, my dad and I went up here. I, I, I knew how, how brutal it was gonna be. I don't think she quite fully grasped it yet, I'm not sure. Tyler tends to over-exaggerate, so, <laughs> but this time he wasn't. <laughs> yeah. the, the first mile, we had tons of energy, we were just ready to go, and we did it in 27 minutes. And I was like, oh, that's not so bad. We're going to just power up this thing. And then um, second mile started to get warmed up. That took like 40, 45 minutes. <laughs> and then it just got worse from there. <laughs> For me, about maybe mile four, everything started hurting pretty bad. The elbows, shoulders, all the muscles. Um, so then it's just embracing the pain for the rest of the time. So we, we added a new endurance uh, challenge to the Sunrise Ascent this year. Uh, we had Paralympic athletes uh, come and make an unassisted uh, climb up Mount Washington. Well, we definitely see growing the uh, Adaptive Endurance Challenge part of the event. So, um, you know, we've got these high-level athletes with a disability that want to challenge this mountain. This is their opportunity to do that, and we encourage them to look for that next year and to train for that and to want to see if they can best the times of uh, the Tyler and Laurie have set. For me, doing this again, uh, I was very strongly reminded of how horrible it was the first time. <laughs> Um, but you definitely can't beat the view from here. We're doing it the first time. It was a really cool experience, and you know, now that it's done, I'm actually kind of glad it's done. <laughs> but no, it was it was awesome to be able to to get up here. I've never been up here before, and you know, what a better way to do it than pushing yourself up. So.